Seven Emerging Trends That Smallholder Farmers Must Know Gone are the days of old-fashioned farming. Smallholder farmers are flipping the script with exciting new trends that give their crops a big boost. Picture this. Farmers tapping away on snazzy mobile apps and precision tools to add some oomph to their yields and cut down on waste. But wait, there's more. They're also getting savvy with sustainable and organic farming practices, putting the environment and health of consumers first. And the cherry on top. They're finding fresh new markets, like direct sales to peeps like you and me, and joining bustling farmers' markets. These creative crusaders are shaking things up, and making sure they stay ahead of the game in the farming world. Join us for an exciting video where we explore seven new and intriguing trends that have been adopted by smallholder farmers in 2023. Can you believe it? Almost 1 billion smallholder farmers are out there. To be specific, 608 million according to the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization. These incredible individuals are absolute superheroes when it comes to feeding the world, especially in developing countries. Despite their commendable efforts, our smallholder farmers face a rough road ahead. Lack of resources, infrastructure, and climate change come out to play, making it tough for them to keep the farm afloat and provide for their families. Smallholder farmers have overcome obstacles with determination and resourcefulness, adapting to new conditions and inventing innovative farming methods. Get ready to sizzle with these seven hot trends of 2023. But before we jump in, let's spread the love. Hit that like, share and subscribe button. Number one, market-driven approach. This approach involves identifying market opportunities and tailoring agricultural production to meet the demand. By understanding market demands, smallholders can produce high-quality crops and generate higher incomes. Additionally, the market-driven approach prioritizes sustainability and promotes environmentally friendly production practices. With the right support and infrastructure, the market-driven approach has the potential to transform smallholder farming, benefiting farmers, consumers, and the environment. A market-driven approach in farming involves producing crops or raising livestock that are in high demand in the market. By focusing on market trends and consumer preferences, farmers can tailor their production to meet the needs of buyers and achieve higher profits. This approach can also help to reduce food waste and increase sustainability by producing only what is needed and reducing excess supply. Some benefits of a market-driven approach in farming include increased profitability for farmers, improved quality of products for consumers, reduced food waste, and increased sustainability, greater efficiency in production and supply chain management, improved market competitiveness for farmers, increased availability of fresh, locally grown products, greater job opportunities in farming and related industries. Number two, contract farming. This is a type of agreement between farmers and buyers, where the buyer specifies the quality and quantity of the crop required and the farmer agrees to produce and deliver the crop as per the specifications. This type of farming has gained popularity in recent years, especially in developing countries, as it provides a guaranteed market for the farmers and enables them to access better technology, inputs, and credit. The advantages of contract farming are numerous. It provides a stable source of income for farmers, reduces the risks associated with market fluctuations and weather uncertainties, and improves the quality of the produce. It also enables the farmers to gain access to better input supplies, such as seeds and fertilizers, and to adopt new production techniques and technologies. However, there are also some potential risks and challenges associated with contract farming, such as unequal bargaining power between the farmers and buyers, lack of transparency in pricing, and possible exploitation of farmers. It is therefore important to establish clear regulations and guidelines to ensure that the interests of both parties are protected. When it comes to contract farming, it's important to carefully consider the advantages and potential risks associated with this type of agreement. Here are some key points to keep in mind. Advantages provides farmers with a stable source of income and a guaranteed market for their crops. 
reduces the risks associated with market fluctuations and weather uncertainties, improves the quality of the produce through the use of better input supplies and adoption of new production techniques and technologies. Potential risks. Unequal bargaining power between the farmers and the buyers can result in exploitation of the farmers. Lack of transparency in pricing can lead to disputes between the parties. Farmers may become too reliant on the buyer and lose their independence in terms of production decisions. By mitigating these risks, contract farming can be a valuable tool to support farmers and improve the quality and efficiency of agricultural production. Number 3. Certifications Farming certifications are becoming increasingly important for farmers around the world. These certifications are designed to help farmers improve their farming practices, reduce their environmental impact, and increase their profitability. There are several certifications available for farmers who want to demonstrate their commitment to sustainable and ethical farming practices. One of the most popular farming certifications is the organic certification. This certification requires farmers to use organic methods to grow their crops, which means no synthetic fertilizers or pesticides are allowed. This not only benefits the environment, but it also produces healthier and more nutritious food. An example would be the USD Organic. This certification ensures that the farm uses only approved organic materials and practices and avoids the use of synthetic pesticides and fertilizers. Another important certification is Fair Trade Certification which ensures that farmers receive fair prices for their products and that workers are treated fairly. This certification is particularly important for farmers in developing countries who often struggle to make a living wage. This certification ensures that the farm workers are paid fairly and work in safe conditions. The other common certification is Rainforest Alliance Certification, which focuses on sustainability and conservation. This certification ensures that the farm operates in an environmentally sustainable manner and that the workers are treated fairly. Non-GMO project verified. This certification ensures that the farm does not use genetically modified organisms in their crops or livestock. Simply put, it ensures that crops are not genetically modified. This certification ensures that the farm animals are treated humanely and have access to proper living conditions. By obtaining these certifications, farmers can improve their reputation, gain access to new markets, and attract more customers who are interested in supporting sustainable and ethical farming practices. Smallholder farmers, the pioneers of new trends and more. While it may seem like smallholder farmers are leading the charge for new trends, there's much more to it than that. In fact, the following four trends are equally fascinating as they explore new revenue streams and beyond. Number 4. Organic Farming Organic farming is a method of agriculture that relies on the use of natural fertilizers and pest control methods instead of synthetic ones. This farming practice promotes the use of natural resources and focuses on maintaining the health of the soil, ecosystems and the environment as a whole. Organic farming practices prohibit the use of pesticides, herbicides, and chemical fertilizers. Instead, organic farmers use crop rotation, cover crops, and compost to enrich the soil and provide essential nutrients to the crops. The use of genetically modified organisms, GMOs, is also prohibited in organic farming. Organic farming is gaining popularity around the world as consumers become more aware of the impact of conventional agriculture on the environment and human health. In addition to producing healthier and more nutritious food, organic farming has been shown to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, preserve biodiversity, and promote sustainable agriculture. The benefits of organic farming go beyond producing healthier and more sustainable food. Here are some additional advantages of this method of agriculture, preservation of soil quality. Organic farming promotes the health of the soil by maintaining a diverse range of microorganisms and nutrients. This results in better soil structure, water retention and reduced erosion protection of water quality. Organic farming practices help prevent water pollution by minimizing the use of synthetic fertilizers and pesticides. This reduces the risk of contamination in nearby water sources.
promoting biodiversity. Organic farming methods support the growth of a variety of crops and the use of natural pest control methods, which leads to increased biodiversity in the surrounding environment, improved animal welfare. Organic farming practices prioritize the humane treatment of animals, including providing access to outdoor space and natural feed. By choosing to support organic farming, we can help to build a more sustainable and healthy food system for ourselves and future generations. Number five, traceability. Traceability is crucial for industries such as food and pharmaceuticals. With the ability to track products or components from their origin to their current location, it becomes easier to identify and remove harmful products from the market during a recall. Barcodes or IFID tags are commonly used in the food industry to track products from the farm to the retailer consumer. Overall, effective traceability systems can reduce the risk of recalls, protect brand reputation, and provide better products and services to customers. Traceability in farming is a crucial aspect of ensuring the safety and quality of our food supply. It allows us to track the journey of our food from farm to table, ensuring that it has been produced and handled in a safe and ethical manner. There are several ways in which traceability is achieved in farming. One common method is through the use of technology such as barcodes or RFID tags, which are attached to products at various stages of production and can be scanned to provide information about their origin and journey. Another important aspect of traceability is record keeping. Farmers and other food producers are required to maintain detailed records of their operations, from the use of pesticides and fertilizers to the handling of livestock. This information can be used to trace the source of any problems that may arise, such as outbreaks of foodborne illness. Overall, traceability is an essential tool in ensuring that our food supply is safe, sustainable and ethical. By providing transparency and accountability throughout the food chain, we can work towards a more secure and resilient food system for everyone. Here are some reasons why traceability is important in farming. It enables farmers to track the movement of products from farm to fork, ensuring that they are safe for consumption. It helps to identify the source of any contamination issues quickly, minimizing the risk of widespread outbreaks. It allows farmers to identify and address any problems in the supply chain, such as inefficiencies or quality issues. It helps to build consumer trust in food products as consumers are increasingly interested in where their food comes from and how it was produced. It helps farmers to comply with regulatory requirements for food safety and quality. Number six, digital agriculture. Digital agriculture is a modern approach to farming that leverages technology to improve efficiency, yield, and sustainability. It involves the use of various technologies such as precision agriculture, sensors, drones, and artificial intelligence to collect and analyze data the data that can be used to make better decisions. One of the key benefits of digital agriculture is that it enables farmers to make real-time decisions based on accurate data. For example, sensors can be used to monitor soil moisture levels and temperature allowing farmers to optimize irrigation and reduce water usage. Drones can be used to survey crops and identify areas that need attention, such as pest infestations or nutrient deficiency. Digital agriculture also has the potential to increase yields and reduce waste. Precision agriculture, which involves using data to tailor farming practices to specific areas of a field, can maximize crop growth and minimize the use of inputs, such as fertilizers and pesticides. This can help farmers reduce costs and improve environmental sustainability. Overall, digital agriculture is an exciting development in the field of farming that has the potential to revolutionize the way we grow and produce food. By leveraging technology to optimize farming practices, we can create a more sustainable and efficient agricultural system that benefits farmers and consumers alike. And finally, the grand finale. Number seven, agricultural insurance. Agricultural insurance is an essential tool for protecting farmers and agricultural producers from the financial impact of natural disasters, such as pests, droughts, and floods. 
This type of insurance can also mitigate risks like market fluctuations and theft, allowing farmers to recover from unexpected losses and sustain their operations. Agricultural insurance policies vary depending on what's being insured, including crops, livestock, and other agricultural products, as well as the specific risks being covered. In some countries, government-subsidized agricultural insurance programs are available to support farming communities. Agricultural insurance provides peace of mind for farmers and agricultural producers, allowing them to focus on what they do best, growing food and other agricultural products. Here are some additional benefits of agricultural insurance. Protects against crop failure. Farmers can purchase crop insurance to protect against losses due to natural disasters like droughts, floods, and pests. This insurance covers not only the loss of crops but also the loss of income resulting from crop failure. Mitigates market risks. Agricultural insurance can also protect farmers against market risks, such as fluctuations in prices and demand. This allows farmers to plan for the future and make informed decisions about their operations, supports sustainable farming practices. By providing a safety net for farmers, agricultural insurance can encourage the adoption of sustainable farming practices that promote environmental stewardship and protect natural resources, promotes economic growth. Agricultural insurance can help sustain rural economies by ensuring that farmers have the resources they need to continue their operations and contribute to the local economy. These trends paint a picture of forward-thinking and flexible smallholder farmers who are ready to take on whatever comes their way. Get hooked on captivating videos showcasing the unsung heroes of agriculture, smallholder farmers, who play a vital role in feeding our planet. Thank you for watching. Make sure to smash that notification bell so you never miss out on our epic videos.